Well, the SU players are busy working on their last minute game plans for later this afternoon. And since the game tips off shortly after three o'clock, some fans who have to work are already trying to figure out a game plan of their own. I know our Brandon Roth already has his plan in place. Oh yeah. He is live up on the SU Hill on Marshall Street with details on how the tournament's expected to impact the workplace. And I guess the question today, what work, Brandon, right? Oh yeah, well we're lucky, Meg. We get to get up at three in the morning, so we get off at work early enough to go watch the game. Uh, hopefully I'll be off work. Uh, and I'm glad you said, I'm thinking True TV, okay, channel 204 on Dish Network. I gotta remember that. But uh, for a lot of folks, they work normal hours. Yeah, they gotta be uh, at work, kind of figuring out a way to sneak a peek at their computer or something. If you're coming down here to Marshall Street or you're stuck in the office, staying focused is gonna be tough. In fact, from workplace brackets to sneaking a peek at scores or games, estimates are that 2.5 million fans will spend around 90 minutes a day focused on the tournament while at work. Now, this means over the first two days alone, employers will be paying at least $175 million to distracted employees. Now, most of whom are watching a game or constantly checking scores on their office computer, smartphone, or tablets. Now, 57%, take a look at these numbers, believe, executives believe these events are okay in moderation. That's my kind of boss. While some companies feel March Madness may have an overall positive effect on employee morale, nearly one-third of managers felt NCAA activities should not be allowed in the workplace. Boo. Yahoo says 14% of basketball fans admit to calling in sick so they can watch the games. Others simply just take off from work. Now, Meg, I'm going to put you on the spot here. TV, now, uh -oh. who are you picking in your, who are you picking in your bracket? Uh, <laughs> right on TV here. Everyone in Central New York wants to know. SU, of course, Brandon, of, of course. Come on uh, now. How about all you? All right. That's what I like to hear. I actually am picking SU. I think they're going to surprise folks. They got If they go to a fast-paced game, a transition game, uh, I think they're going to surprise some people and all these negative naysayers saying, you know, everything's all lost. Uh, you know, I think we're going to be in for a surprise here. And I'll tell you what, it's just great. It's really exciting. I was thinking and driving in the, on the way to work here. It's so great when uh, March Madness comes around and when SU's in the tournament. It's like Christmas all over again. <laughs> so uh, a lot of folks excited about the game here uh, as we get underway with March Madness. We're live on Marshall Street this morning. Brandon Roth, we're today in Central All right, well, like your mom said, get your homework done early so everybody gets your work done early today, right, Brandon? Uh, uh, absolutely. All right, we'll see you later on.